Hi everyone, Mr. Brandt here. Today we're going to do a drawing. Um, we're going to do a drawing of a landscape, but this is going to have a little depth and space and uh, a little bit of uh, looking like it's going back into the paper. So we're going to start today with our paper horizontal and about halfway up I want to draw with my pencil because I want to erase some of it. I want to draw a horizon line that goes across like that. Once I do that, and some of this we're going to erase, so do it lightly. I'm doing it a little darker so you can see it. I'm going to come back, not to the middle, but to about right here. I'm going to come back, and then when I get here, I'm going to draw out, back in, out, back in, out, back in, just like that. Then I'm going to come to this side and come to about here. I'm going to come out. I'm going to go out, back in, out, back in, out, back in, whichever way you want to do that. This is going to be three-dimensional for the ground, because now we're going to go here and we're going to draw a little line down from the end here, a little line down, here, a little line down, here, a little line down. Then we're going to go here, and we're going to go a little line down, a little line down on the outside there, a little line down there. And then that's going to be the ground showing. So we're going to draw a little wave. And from the ground, a little wave that goes underneath this line. Little wave. Then right about here, a little wave. A little wave. And a little wave. And then I'm going to put some waves in the middle. This is water coming through the two pieces of ground. Now we're going to show some depth and showing how to draw some things that go back into space. So right about here, I'm going to draw the bottom lightly of a pine tree. And I'm going to draw up lightly and down lightly, kind of like a cone. And I want to erase this part because I don't want that inside my tree. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to draw the tree stump or uh, the actual main part of the tree. Now, just so you can see, now I drew it smooth with my pencil lightly, but when I outline, or if you just want to go back over with your pencil hard, you can do that. And I'm going to add some little lines here, and you can add some little pine needles, all of that. I'm going to draw the bottom part of the tree like that. Now, as the trees get farther back, they're going to rise up, and they're going to be maybe overlapping. So here, maybe I'll come up and draw just a smaller tree and you'll just see a little bit of his little stump at the bottom there. So you can see it's a little bit smaller because it's right, just kind of overlapping behind it. Now, I'm going to get rid of some of these pencil lines because I didn't go right on when I outlined and that's perfectly okay. Get rid of that a little bit. Now, I want to go way back in my picture. So I'm going to go up here and when it's close to the horizon line, that's where you're going to see the little tiny little trees because they're way far back, just like that. And then I erase the inside. Maybe I want to put another little tiny tree way back here. And I erase the inside like that. There we go. And then on this side, maybe I decide I want to put, maybe my tree's really close up. So it's going to be big. So I'm going to draw it like it's going off the page here. Like this. And just see, we just see, here's the bark on the tree. I erase this right here, and then maybe I'll go up here and do another. I like those cute little baby trees, but really they're big trees. They're just way far away from us, and so it looks smaller. Now, I can go in and add some details in the grass. I could add a little bunny rabbit. I could add some animals. I could do whatever I want. Maybe I'll just have some grass here and a little rock sitting in my ground. You can do whatever you want to add to your little picture. Remember, this is using your imagination. You can do whatever you want to do. Now, 
I'm just kind of going over this and outlining some of these. Some of you may have drawn with pen or you might want to outline, do it with marker or color pencil or crayon, whatever, whatever you have at the house, okay? Whatever you have will work. If you want to put a little fish jumping, you could do anything like that. There we go. Now, once we've got the trees going smaller and going back, and you could put a hundred trees if you want, I'm going to go back here in the on the horizon line, and I'm going to add some little mountains or hills way back. Maybe something you, maybe you've all gone somewhere where you went hiking or had a chance to do that. Um, I'm going to draw just a few more in there like that. Then I'm going to add maybe a skinny cloud because I like to do this once in a while. I like to add my sun kind of peeking behind my cloud coming there. And then maybe there's another cloud behind that. And maybe I'll put a couple clouds overlapping like this. Maybe a little cloud here, a little cloud here. Maybe some of the birds are coming back, okay? Maybe they're flying around, getting ready. I might go back in and add, like I said, some details with little pine needles, things like that. I could add a ton of pine needles. I could add whatever you want to do. Um, sometimes I'll go in and just draw some hatching lines on the side of the mountains like this. And we, but what really will make this landscape beautiful is to put color into it. Use watercolor paints, or if you don't have that, take markers and color it and then water the marker. That'll make like a watercolor painting or crayons or color pencil, whatever you have at home um, will work out great. Some people might want to do oil pastel if you have a set of those, um, but have fun putting the color in. I hope you enjoyed our landscape drawing today. And like I always say, art is essential. Have a great day.